Hello students. Uh, today's lesson is going to be volume of a rectangular prism. First of all, let's define what volume is. Volume is the amount of space inside of a three-dimensional figure. I wanted to find something small enough to show you. This is a three-dimensional figure. We're going to be looking for the volume within the space of a three-dimensional figure, which is everything that's inside of the box here. So if you recall on our previous lessons, each each side has another side to it which is called a, another opposite or a face this face has this matching face this face has this matching face and this is your top this is your bottom that would be considered your three-dimensional figure so um, it's considered a prism okay three-dimensional cubed you would utilize this, the objective of, the, of this is to find the volume of a rectangular prism, so you would utilize this, uh, for example, if you wanted to find out how much water you could put into an aquarium. How much water does the, um, so does the aquarium require? So um, that's when you would use, it, use the uh, volume of a, of, a, of a rectangular prism for the dimensions of an aquarium. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the two different methods that are used for volume of a rectangular prism. So students, at the end of this lesson, the essential question is at the end of the lesson, uh, students are going to be able to answer why can you use either of the formulas you're going to have volume equals length times width times height or you're going to have volume equals base times height. So let's go ahead and, and work with both of these formulas. First I'm going to go in I'm going to draw my three-dimensional figure. three-dimensional figure right there that should be work out so I'm going to go ahead and label my three-dimensional figure making this 12 centimeters I'll make this other one 10 centimeters and I will make this one six centimeters there we go we're trying to find out what the volume is. That's everything that's on the inside of that cube. So there are two different um, methods that you could use, two different formulas. We'll go ahead and do this one. Volume equals length times width times height. Length times width times height. So we'll go volume equals. We're multiplying everything. So we're going to go ahead and make this my length. This will be my width. And up and down here, we'll call this the height. The width is usually, students, this part right here of, of your three-dimensional figure. Your height is this right here, and this right here is your length. Okay, so my length is 12 times 10 times 6. I'm going to use my calculator to multiply these, make it easier. Okay, so we have 12 times 10 times 6 equals 720. So that's going to be volume equals 
720 cube centimeters. Centimeters. There we go. Now that's that way. Now there's also another way, and we're gonna we're gonna find the difference out between those two. Okay. So the other way is we're going to take both the bases. If we look at our box again, this is considered a base and this is considered a base right here. Why? Because look, when they're sitting down, this is a base down here and this is a base right here. Okay? When you look at it again this way in a 3D, this right here and this right here because that's what's laying flat. So another way you could do this is volume equals base times height. Now one thing that you have to remember when you're doing the base is you have two bases in this order here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go volume, I like to use the black, equals, I have two bases, don't I? So I'm going to multiply these two bases. I'm going to multiply 120, excuse me, 12 plus 10. So let's do this. 12 times 10 is 120 times my height, 6. So now we have 120 times 6. And that is, let's go ahead and clear this, 120 times 6 equals 720. So volume equals 720 centimeters cubed. It's the same thing, students, because we multiplied these two and got 120, and then 120 times 6, which is a base, because you got to make sure, because you have both bases, that you multiply both of those. So however you want to do it, you can do it in your head. Say 12 times 10 is 120, and then multiply it by the 6. Either way, you still get the correct answer.